hello everyone welcome to my pair of beginner tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to change camera settings and also view multiple uh, render view so for the camera settings so here next to this 3d icon this is uh, just camera and here you can so if you have a specific view so for example let's say i want to have this particular zoom and i want to save this view then you can always you can go here to configure and then you say current view so I, now this view is saved you can also export this view and save it or uh, you can save this entire setting camera position everything and you can load it later on so if you if you need it yeah so now let's say if i just changed it change the view so now i want to get back to my old zoom then i just go here and just say one so then it get back to the view i had before so this is pretty helpful when you want to create a final animation or images with the same uh, sizes okay for the multiple views so we can split the screen uh, here so split horizontal or split vertical so we can have multiple views so let's say i want to so let's do the uh, vertical let's say i want to have velocity on the top and i want to visualize pressure at the bottom okay. yeah so now just click this to visualize the pressure value so i'll put it here right. so you see saw that, that the color legend uh, if, I, let, if i go here and select pressure then we have uh, edited the color legend there so if you see it here the pressure value will have a different name and also the unit but here we have different so with each window render window you open your legend if you have it you have to do it set it again so if you want to learn how to set this legend you have to watch the video uh, which was one before this video okay so one more nice thing about when you have this multiple windows is when um, you can link camera so if you say right click onto a window and then you say link camera and then select which window you want then this both uh, windows are now linked so when you move zoom in one then the other one also gets zoomed so what if you translate it will also translate in the other one so this is pretty nice you want to keep the same want to see the same area in both windows so only thing which doesn't work if you use this zoom of a certain area so if you use this ah okay so in the latest parallel version this doesn't work so seems to be in parallel version 4.4 this seems to work pretty fine that's nice okay so now if i just go to this camera and to load it yeah okay so I hope you like this video. So in the next video, I'll show you how to add extra text and uh, time into the screen. And if you like this video, please click the like icon below and press the bell icon to subscribe to this channel for more Paravi videos and showcase video of Apes simulation framework. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.